time so I'm excited to see what I can go out there and do I'm back out here at Frisco Lakes and I'm going to be playing the full 18 holes okay it is very windy but I'm gonna go out there and see what I can do so we're starting on hole number one I'm gonna try to manage this course in a way that I can shoot a good score today and like I said it's very windy so what that score is gonna be I'm not sure but I'm gonna get out there and give it give it what I got so let's get right into it starting on hole number one all right first hole I got three wood probably gonna hit this a lot today First hole, 400 yard par four, or it's about 370 actually. All right, I think I got about 125 to the pin. I got a little P-wedge in hand just trying to keep it under the wind. All right, that was definitely like a, a missed club there. I'm like 25 yards short, so not good here on the first hole, but I got 60 degree in hand. Solid up and down on the first hole, even after one. All right, three wood, hole two. It is 428 yards from back here, but it plays a little shorter because I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of cut the corner. Should, should still have a wedge. All right, I actually just ran through the fairway. Freaking crushed that thing. But I got about 116 yards to the pin here. It's just to be a stock sand wedge. Pretty accessible pin, so this one's up to me. I think it's a little bit long, but I actually don't know for sure. I hit it well. I guess that's what I know as of right now. All right, I got about 15 feet here for birdie. Um, it's pretty windy out here today, so I always say this, but bear with me on the sound. Hopefully, it's going to be okay. Got a little slider to the left. That wasn't a good putt. Little decel, two putt par, even par through two holes. All right, that mic was kind of crackling, so I switched mics. So I'm gonna be hitting it at that bunker that you see out there in the fairway. It's in the fairway, but it's a long ways from the hole. This is a extremely long par five. I don't think it's gonna be gettable, but we'll see when I get up there. I'd, I would have to hit two really hard shots with this wind. All right, pin is in the back. And it is 298 yards to the back edge of the green, so I am not going to be going for this. I got five iron just trying to lay it up to the, about that 100 yard mark. Uh, it's straight into the wind, so I'm just going to hit a hard five. That was not good contact, we'll just say that. Alright, just stopped before this bunker. I got about 80 yards. 80 yards into this pin right here. I'm just gonna try to hit a little low little spinner in there with a 60 degree. All right, this is what I'm looking at, just over the green. See if I can get this one up and down. Fortunate bogey, I tell you. A little disappointing, but one over after three holes on hole four. All right, three wood again. Um, that was very unfortunate bogey, but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna come back from it. I promise. See if we can kind of get kind of get in a groove here and start kind of hitting some greens. That's my problem right now. It's not in the fairway though. That's one thing I know for sure. Kind of double crossed it a little bit. I didn't want to hit a fade, but. I think it's all right. All right, I got six iron. This did not end up well, but I'm just gonna aim at the center of the green. I probably got about 180 yards. I'm not 100% sure where that at. It was kind of going right at it, but I guess we'll find out. All right, just in front of the green here. Got a little pitch to get up and down for my ball here. That 
That wasn't the best, but got a putt at it. All right, 196 straight up the hill into the wind. I got six iron. Just trying to hit this pretty smooth. Hopefully that gets me around the center of the green. I'm just aiming for the center of the greens today. It is way more windy out here than I thought it was going to be today. Alright, I have 57 feet. This is crazy. I mean, I hit a hard six iron and it still is 57 feet short. But it's breaking a little to the left. Let's see if I can get the speed down here. Alright, got about six feet for par here. No, this is not six feet. It's probably like four. Man, I'm working for him today. Not easy out here, but see if we can't get kind of get a, get some momentum here. We got got a lot of golf left to play here in today's video. All right, six hole of the day, par four, straight up the hill. Wind is I don't know what it's doing, but I got three wood in hand. All right, I got 135 yards to the to the center of the green. I missed the fairway by like 30 yards, but I got Peewidge in hand. 135 to the center. The pin is in the back, so if this jumps a little bit, it'll be alright. All right, I have 66 feet on this one. Goodness, man. These long putts making it hard on myself, but let's see if we can get the distance once again. That's way short. All right, I got this for par. 15 feet still left. Well, you know what? I just got to keep pressing through. I want to see if I can come back from this. I'm two over after six holes, which, you know, with this wind, it's just debatable whether it's good or not. But I'm, I got five iron here on hole seven. I'm just going to aim at that bunker and hit a little draw. I'm just going to give myself a wedge in. It's perfect, right where I was aiming. All right, I think I got about 100 yards to the pin. I think I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit 56 degree and try to keep it out a little to the right, maybe draw it in just a little bit. Just can't get those distances down. The wind is just eating my ball up up there. But I got a putt. Goodness. Alright, this is the best look I've had all day so far. Uh, birdie. Got about 20 25 feet here. Let's see if I can get this one get this one on the right line with the right pace. putt par what can I say hit a good putt just kind of broke a little more than I thought all right hole number eight par three over water here kind of little island green you guys have seen it before most of y'all I got eight irons 165 to the middle and that pin is in the middle of the green so I'm gonna play it about like that got eight iron just trying to swing smooth with this wind you got to be very cautious how hard you swing because otherwise it'll spin out of control and off this plant about 25 feet here for birdie. That was a really good putt. Just glad I got the distance right. The wind was moving that thing around on the after I hit it the wind moved it to the left. Alright hole number nine. I'm playing pretty steady right now. A couple bogeys but it's no big deal. Got a par five here and if I hit a good tee shot here I think I might can get home in two and Maybe finish, finish out this front nine with a birdie, but we'll see what happens. Got three wooden hand, just taking it right up the at that little bush you see out there. That was perfect. That's the best tee shot I hit all day. It's a good time to do that. Hopefully it actually doesn't go too far on that line and go through the fairway. All right, I got just under 200 yards here. I got eight iron in hand, and 
I'm gonna just hit it right center of the green like I've been doing all day. pretty good for eagle all right i am perfectly pin high here and just off the green i got 56 degree in hand to see if i can bump this on this is for eagle so that would be huge gosh tap in birdie gets me to one over after the front nine i'm not too disappointed in that had to really work for it but one under, going on to the back nine. Maybe the wind will calm down, I don't know. Well, I actually hope the wind does calm down. That'd be nice. All right, 10th hole of the day. Hopefully that's kind of the start of a little momentum shifter here. I got two iron in hand. I'm just gonna hit it up the right side with a little draw, hopefully. Just keep giving myself opportunities. That's what I gotta do. I gotta stay really patient today with this wind. That's all right. A little farther and right than I anticipated, but it's all right. All right I'm actually right of the cart path, but I, I got a still a pretty good look at it. I got 52 degree in hand. Oh no. Well guys, this literally landed right up just on the front of the green and spun all the way back down to here. Just a tough break, but got to try to get up and down. Got 60 degree in hand. That was not a good shot. She stayed there. Well, guys, that's another bogey. So, guess <laughs> puts me back to two over after 10 holes. That is unfortunate, but Got to stay, got to stay positive. Got to fight through it, and uh, you know I can't choose conditions when I play golf, so I have to figure out how to play in those conditions. All right, hole number 11, uh, four, about a 400 yard par four, but I'm gonna cut the corner a little bit hopefully, and uh, see if I can make some good score, a good score. That was a little left. I think it hit a tree, but should be alright. All right, this is where my ball ended up. Had to, a uh, little bit of a tree trouble there, but I got eight iron. It is just, try to keep it under the wind. That's all I'm gonna try to do. I think it's okay. I think it's left side of the green, but man, this is, this is tough today. I'm not gonna lie. All right, got about 25 feet for birdie here. I'm just trying to trust the process here out here and see if I can uh, hit some good putts. That was a very good putt. Straight back into the wind again with this par three. I got seven iron hand just trying to literally hit, land something in front of the green and chase it back to that pin if I can. Just short again. Man, I can't get it under control right now. Yeah, I just uh, don't know exactly what happened there, but it happened. I got sand wedge in hand, just trying to. This this is a tough pin. Stay up there. You better stay up there. Well, can't blame that one on the wind. It's been a, it's been a tough day, but I'm gonna keep grinding through it. I'm gonna try to stay strong, keep putting good swings on them, and see where I end up. I got three wood again. This is another. It's short par four, but it's long today into the wind. Well, 13. My bad. All right, got about 75 yards left. Got 60 degree in hand.
Another par. Keeps me at three over par through 13 holes. As you can probably tell, the frustration is up a little bit, but just gotta keep trucking, man. All right, guys, hole 14, par three, 204 yards to the center of the green. I'm gonna hit seven iron. That pin appears to be pretty close to the center. Basically, duck hooked that one off the tee, and I got 60 degree in hand. Alright guys, par 5, 15th hole of the day, okay? I got four more holes to see if I can make something happen here. And the wind's kind of calming down a little bit, so maybe I can uh, take advantage of that here in the last four holes. But if you're still here, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying patient with me. This is just part of the process of getting better. And some days are just those days, and I want to be able to fight through them. So thanks for watching if you're still here. That was absolutely piped. Can't feel the wind here, but there was a lot of wind above me that was straight down wind, so I might be able to give this one a go in two. All right, I only have 180 yards to the screen, which is just crazy because the other day I played here and I had 280, so I got nine iron. I'm just gonna hit it hard. If it comes up a little short, it's not that big a deal. It could be really good. That was an aggressive line, but it could be really good. That was a pretty good shot. About 15 feet for eagle here. And I got putter in hand. Left it short. Hey, it's another birdie, okay? Got three holes to play. Let's, let's grind it out here. Yeah, hole 16, guys. Straight back into the wind, I got driver again. Just trying to do what I did on the last hole, aiming at that little bunker you see in the fairway. I don't know where that's been all day, but that was another really good drive. All right, probably only have about 170 yards, but it is right into the wind, so I'm gonna be hitting, I feel like every single shot, no matter where we've been, has been into the wind. It's just been ridiculous. I got seven iron. All right, I got about 30 feet down the hill. Breaking to the left for Bird. Hole 17, got three wood in hand. See what we can do, two holes left. That was as perfect as you can hit it. All right, just inside of 150, pins in the middle. I got nine iron just inside of 150. I'm trying to play a low punch shot in there. Still short, I just don't get it. Can't get the yardages down, but another long putt. All right, here we are, about 25 feet up the hill. Breaking low to the right for birdie. Let's see if maybe I match it up this time. Dang. Another par. And on to hole 18. Last hole for today's video. I tell you, the, the, the last four holes, the weather's been a lot nicer than the first 14 holes because it was rough. All right, guys, last hole of the day. Straight away par five, downwind. It's time for me to just let one loose here, see if I can, I'm gonna do everything I can to make eagle on this hole. Hands down the best drive I hit in a long time with this driver. For some reason, last four holes, the swing just kind of really came together. Wish I would have had that all day, but sometimes that's the way it is in golf. All right, guys, that was a very hard hit drive. That drive was hit very hard. I have 145 yards to the center of this green and then it's 15 yards from there to the back of the green. It's about exactly 150 to the pin.
it's on the green but i i one hand finished it because it was just way right but i'm on the green i'm putting for eagle let's see if we can finish with the eagle i'm pin high but i got about 60 70 feet for for eagle here so just gonna see if i can get the pace in the line right Neither the pace nor the line was right. Got that going for me. There it is. You know what? This video was a grind, okay? You probably kind of felt that for me, but I really had to just stay patient out there. And that was a great way to finish this video. I hit I hit a lot of really good tee shots today. Well, actually, I would say that I hit a, really, a lot of really good shots today, but it was just tough to gauge the distance and... It was really good. It was very valuable to come out here and play in this wind and just learn how to learn my game better and learn how to score in these conditions because I guarantee you later on down the road when I'm playing in tournaments, I'm not going to be able to dip out of a tournament if there's some wind. So it felt like I got beat up a little bit, but you know, it was good for me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing some more 18 hole vlogs here pretty soon. So stay tuned because I like playing 18 holes and it helps me get better. So seeing you guys soon. Peace.